Welcome back, everyone. This is time for episode 132 of Fine Music. And our good friend, Murray Thomas, has a new revelation for you. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it is Halloween. So I was trying to think of scary albums to talk about, um, which would kind of be, you know, rehashing albums that most people are familiar with and such. And then I was reading... Uh, Prague Magazine. Oh my. And hit a review of an album called Eraser by a band called Long Distance Calling, which sounded pretty interesting. Um, I'm going to do a little screen share here so we can see um, that one. So here is the contents of Eraser. Um, Death Box, 500 Years, Sloth, Giants Leaving, Blood Honey. Um, it's a theme, you know, it's a concept album. And each song on it references some species that is rapidly disappearing. Um, sloth is the sloth. Blades is rhinoceros. Um, Blood Honey is obviously bees. Um, and the music is, and I'm, this is also for you, Don, it's your birthday. This is a post-rock album, definitely. Yeah. Um, that it's, it's all instrumental. There are no lyrics at all. So you have to kind of figure out what animals they're talking about. And it's like really, really heavy guitar music. Um, now I do have to throw in here that I am returning to writing about music for Ground Control Magazine, groundcontrolmag.com. And my first column is going to be about what I call post-genre music, which is music that just does not fit into any genre. And nowadays, since the whole music spectrum is wide open to us, that I think this is more and more common that you get albums that and musicians that just don't fit into the boxes. And yet I kind of complain about how critics and such, um, in order to try to accommodate these things, actually make up more and more genres. And one of those made up genres is this whole post-rock business. I mean, what in the world is post-rock? So I kind of complain about post-rock, but if you got to use it to define something, it definitely fits this album. And so I, I consider this scary because the music is so heavy. And then when you think about the themes underlying it and just how many animals we're destroying. And then, of course, the final song on the album is Eraser, about another species that is being killed off by mankind or probably will be soon, which is mankind itself. And the whole song about how destructive we are. And it's the one... You don't see it here, but it has a really powerful video of all the things we're doing to the planet. So um, if you like heavy, heavy guitar music with a depressing theme, even though because there's no lyrics, you can't ignore that. You can pretend this is just some sweet little album to listen to. But it, it really, in my feeling, gives you a feel for just how destructive we are being. So that's that's my recommendation. I don't know who to compare them to because they're often, you know, one of these little worlds of their own. But I guess you could say if, you know, if you like depressing post-rock, check out Long Distance Calling. I'm sorry I left there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, post-rock, post-rock. There's a lot of... I'm gonna... Sure, post rocker too. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Murray. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely investigating that one, that's for sure. 